All right, hello Facebook. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to get on. All right, um, until then, just, there you go. Just a little bit, just give me a little time till you get on. All right, just give me a little bit of time. Boom, boom, boom. I should have like some elevator music right now, right? Hello, viewer. Let me know who's on. Let me know who's on. Just giving people a little bit of time to pop on real quick. Boom. And I'm back. Hello, viewer. Let me know who's on. So, this is the segment of what does Laura Shea Sattler love it does, right? Don't mind the tape. We're getting ready to paint. Um, later on this week. So, that's what this is. This is the segment of what does Laura Shea Sattler love it does. Well, let's get the, hello viewers, let me know who's on. Let's get that, let, you know, this is a question and answer segment. So, whatever questions you have for me, pump them out, right? Um, so, let's get to what I do. Well, for starters, you know, the logistics of it. I am a wife, a mother, a sister, a friend, and a major supporter. Hello, viewers. Let me know who's on. Um, I am a sexual assault advocate. Huge sexual assault advocate. I am a sexual assault emergency responder. Hello, let me know who's on. Responder. I am a full-time college student. Um, I am currently in school, uh, excuse me, enrolled in school now for investigative forensic science. So I'm excited about that because I will be done in the fall. Yay me. Yay me. Yay me. Right? Hey Mo. Um, I am a author, well, in the mix of being an author. I have one book almost done. Um, I am on an um, anthology and I am also doing my own book. I am a radio talk host uh, called Fire and Ice. I have a co-host. Her name is Jamie. She's Ice on Fire. And we talk about real life situations. Um, our tagline is how to deal with life when life has dealt with you, right? Because a lot of people feel like they are alone. So when you listen to our show, you know that you are not alone. We've been through it. She's been through it. I've been through it. Everybody's been through it, right? So we are letting you know that we support you and we're not alone. I am a motivational speaker. I speak on three topics. I speak on healing recovery to a transformation, mind, body, and soul connection, and I am beautiful. Now watch me shine, right? Thank you. So those are the three topics that I speak about along with sexual assault. But each topic has something to do with a traumatic experience in your life. Hello, viewers. Let me know who's on. I'm the business owner of Coast to Diamond. That is my pride and joy. That is my baby. I love it, right? Um, oh, got a little glare right there. What's that? Okay, anyway. Um, and what I do is I help women and men. Um, so I like to say beautiful people. Tra heal and transform into their new normal, right? Hi, Tyron. I help people transform into their new normal, and that is what I do. Um, so I am a heal and transformation coach. I have services where I do one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I am actually in the process of re-editing my heal and transformation workbooks, which will be out soon. It is in the final stages of editing. What's your story? Patrick. All right. My story is that I have been raped and sexually assaulted for a year and a half while I was in the military service. So I have been to the bottom pit of life where I tried to commit suicide three times. Um, based on those accounts, I had to work alongside of my abuser for a long time and could not do anything really much about it because I seen from the past experience of people reporting that they were punished and shunned. So I did not report it because I was scared. So once I got out of that situation, then I started doing therapy and then from there I learned a lot about myself. I learned where I wanted to be and also 
how to help others, right? So, because a lot of us commit suicide, so we don't get to uh, transform into our new normal because we don't see a new normal. All we see is the position that we're in. Um, so that's my story. I am a sexual assault advocate. And I am a sexual assault emergency responder. Did I answer your question, Patrick? I hope so. Hello, viewers. Let me know who's on. So you can also check out my website, Patrick, at www.lorshay, L-A-U-R-A-S-H-A, love it, L-O-V-E-T-T, that's two T's, dot com. And check out my website and my stories on there. Thank you for serving. I'm a veteran. Thank you for braving you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you for serving as well, my fellow veteran. <laughs> um, I don't know if I would say bravery. <laughs> I know. Um, but, you know, I'll take it. You know, I'll, I'll receive that. And I appreciate you for being on and do know that I do value your support, right? It doesn't go unnoticed. Um, so another thing that I do is videos, right? Because I ask people, what type of questions do you have about healing, sexual assault, all that. Patrick, also check out um, Fire and Ice. It's on my page. There's a link. Um, me and a counter partner, we do a blog talk radio show. Check that out. Let me know how you like it. We always are love to get feedback, right? So one of the, um, I also answer questions for people who, you know, say, thank you for people who, um, say, um, like, what is it about the healing process? I need to know this. I need to know that. Right. Like, can you answer these questions? Now, my questions are being asked on three levels. One from life experience. Two is from the sexual assault emergency responder training that I am certified in by the state of Virginia, okay? Like, <laughs> it's not just saying that, oh, I talk about sexual assault and I help people. I'm actually certified in. And the third one is based off my college experience that I'm currently in now. So that is how the training, how I'm able to answer these questions. For the people who like to know if you're certified or whatnot, right? Because everybody's not a a expert or certified person and I feel like you are with life right so the question for today was will the nightmares ever go away Drica answer hi Ree uh, the question is will the nightmares ever go away from your traumatic experience there's a two-part answer to that for me yes and no Yes, they will go away, they will minimize, right, at when you go through your healing process because you learn how to um, channel that energy. You learn how to, to change your mindset on that experience, right? So when you go through a healing process, it does minimize it. Now, there are things... Thank you. Love you, too. All right, appreciate it, Patrick, for joining me. I I really appreciate it. Thank you for your support, my fellow veteran. Um, there um there are things that trigger you, and you have to learn how to take those triggers and react to it in a positive way. So it's yes and no. They will minimize, but they won't completely go away because you do have trigger points. But the the main key to that healing process is to learn your trigger point and to also know how to put a positive aspect to that trigger point. Example, there is a particular cologne that the male who raped me wore. I have smelled that cologne on other people and when I smell it, when I smelt it at the time, it would cause me to go into a fringe, a panic attack, um, and I would just like hyperventilate, pass out, like you know, when you get panic attacks, all those different symptoms, right? So what I started doing was I learned my trigger and then from there, excuse the kids are home from for summer school. Samaj, can you please stop? Thank you. Um, so the trigger point, um, what I did from there was I would look around. I would take in where I was at. I would tell myself that I am in a safe place. Right? Hello, viewer. Let me know who's on. I would tell myself that I am in a safe place. And I would talk myself down from having a panic attack. Right? So... Those are things, do you speak to other women? 
veteran. If not, you should be. You can also turn your info into workshop. I do speak to other veterans. Um, I have been on the Quantico base a couple of times. Um, I'm actually in the works of joining their SART program that they have, which is the Sexual Assault Rehabilitation Program, as being a speaker for the semi-annual training. Yes, that is what I plan on doing is turning it into um, workshops, right? Um, just building up to that aspect. But thank you for the question. Um, so yes, that is what Laura Shea does. Right? Because a lot of people say, what do you do? So that is what I do. Um, the people who ask me what I do is not necessarily for them, so they don't understand. But the people who know what I do, they reach out to me. Right? And I connect with them. And they understand. And, you know, they're in my inbox. And they're tagging. And they're liking. And they're um, reaching out to me for further assistance and guidance. So... That is just for, this video is just for people who don't understand what I do. So, that is it. If you have any further questions, inbox me, tag on this post down in the comment section. And you can also check out my website at www.laurashaylovett.com. That is www.laurashaylovett.com. L O V E T T two T dot com. Let me know who just came on. If you have a question, pop it below before I get off, or if you just want to um, inbox me or put it in the comment section. But as always, let me know who's on. If if you have a question, I'll answer it. Right? Whether it's about healing myself, what I do. Um, if not, I'm gonna go ahead and end the broadcast. And you all have a beautiful, shining day. Were you raped by a military member while on active duty? Yes, I was. Um, twice I was raped once and then sexual assaulted for a year and a half by um, a fellow military um, member while on a duty station. So I had to work alongside my abuser for a while. Hello, Carmen. Hi, sis. What's up? I'm a veteran. I know all too well what happens with too many... Yes, it does. <laughs> a lot of people don't think that is common, but it is It is common, um, but the numbers doesn't show that it's common because a lot of us do not report it. Um, that is one of the things I do regret. I know we're not supposed to have regrets in life, but that is one of the things I do regret is not reporting it to be a unrestricted report right I did a restricted report which meant that I reported it just for statistic purpose and to get the help that I needed um, with therapy and things like that but I did not go the legal route of it so it is common um, we are have you you know, I'm asking a question. I know this asked me a question, but I'm just asking, um, have you experienced that while you were in? And also, what branch of service were you in? So, um, I do have a book coming out, and it's called The Healing Transformation Process. It's in the final editing stages. It will be out soon. I am so ecstatic for this book. And it's basically a journal self-help book, right? Um, it's based on life experience. I've had two therapists vet the book, so they do feel that this book is adequate to help people through a self-help process. Um, so it's not just like I'm kicking out a book. It has actually been vetted by licensed therapists, right? Um, so... Any other questions? Hello, viewers. Carmen, you have any questions? Matter of fact, you never sent me the link to that um, candle stuff. Like, I went and looked, and I didn't see the event. Um, like, I get invited to a lot of events. Yes, I did. I was in the Navy. I was in the early 80s. And attitude was soldier for Yes. Yes. Wow. Thank you for your bravery and um, strength and courage for allowing us to know a part of your story, a small glimpse of your story. Um, I can't wait to hear more. And that attitude is, is so common and so wrong. Um, you know what, Reed? I'm looking at your name, and I emailed you. <laughs> um, I don't know if you received it. If not, I'll send it to you again. Um, so... Yes.
I will send it to you soon and I can't wait. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, viewers. Let me know who's on. Um, oh, and Ryu, by the way, I do watch your videos. Um, I, I actually end up catching your live videos afterwards, so I get the replay. Okay, I will do. Um, and I love what you talk about. And you ever actually helped me in a sense on some of the things um, that I need to reevaluate in actually my business strategy. So, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Any more questions, put in a comment. Thank you for watching. Your time does, is very valuable and much appreciated. For the people who watched the replay, thank you as well. Um, and just hit me up whenever. I'm always free to answer questions and connect because I cannot do what I... Thank you. I cannot do what I do without you guys, right? And I am here to serve you all. So shine bright like a diamond.